Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Queen of Light 1111 YouTube channel. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your Monday energy check-in. So we're going to be using this oracle deck here. It's called the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with Divine Feminine's energy. As you guys know, if Divine Feminine is in an energy where she is detached or completely surrendered, then I do not channel the masculine energies here on this YouTube channel. I will shift that over to the King of Shadows 1111 YouTube channel. So what I wanted to do today was I wanted to first check in on Divine Feminine and see what's going on with her. I am going to take reversals here because if there is a card that flies out in reverse in this deck. It is telling me what she may be challenged with at this time as related to Divine Masculine. So let's go ahead and get started and let's see what's going on. And if you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. And don't forget the Soul Circle. We're kicking off a new month here. We have an April special for those of you who join at the VIP level. Um, starting today and through the month of April, you will get a free one question reading, which is based on the format of the Instagram story reading. It's a $40 value. So for this month of April, you will be able to join at the VIP level and receive a free one question reading, which is a $40 value, which eventually, which, you know, like nets out to, um, you know, a, um, a great value and a great deal. The VIP level gets you access to all of the different experiences, mind, body, spirit, uh, the community section. So please check that out. If you subscribe at the VIP level, I will then contact you and I will um, offer you that free one question reading, okay? So join the Soul Circle, link is in the description box. Let's get started. that are reversed. So bottom of the deck, we have the sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life and abundance. So divine feminine's overall energy towards her masculine is this energy where she is only focusing on, atten on her attention, on the things that are making her feel abundant, that are making her feel joy. She's in this energy where she's wanting to realize her dreams. She wants things to fall into place. And so she wants to continue to lift her vibration, lift up and get into this place of joy. So if the masculine energy is you know not supporting her her outer masculine energy is not supporting her at this time she's in this energy of you know what i'm focusing on my abundance i'm focusing on my own life i'm focusing on my own joy when she thinks of her masculine i'm sorry her overall energy towards masculine the spiral dancer sir circuitous circuitous route perception that's an interesting card that to come out so when you know, when this card comes out for Divine Feminine um, and her overall energy towards masculine, she's in this energy where she's like, you know what, I'm not going to push this. I'm not going to drive this. I am going to stay in my high priestess energy and I'm going to allow masculine to lead this connection forward. She's in this energy where she's like, you know what, this relationship is a mirror. She's looking at the past. She's looking at the present. She's looking at the potential future. She knows this connection is her destiny, but it is also a very sacred teacher and it's teaching her very, very valuable lessons. And so right now she's in this energy where she knows that the path of this union, the path with masculine is not a straight shot. It could be a spiral. It could be a circle. It could be left, right, zig, zag. She knows that. And so she's flowing in her own energy and she is allowing masculine to take the lead. That's her overall energy. What is she thinking when she thinks of masculine? The keeper of the scare, scales. Fairness, 
and balance. So in this energy, she's all about, you know, things have to be reciprocal. She's no longer in this energy of trying, 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 giving, 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 and someone taking, taking, taking. There has to be fairness. There has to be balance. That is the only way that both can have a fulfilled relationship with each other. That's the only way there can be harmony, only, not only just within herself, but in her connection with masculine. She's mature enough to know that she loves and respects herself and that she deserves reciprocity, that she deserves fairness. She deserves resolution to what has happened in their connection. This is an ally for her. She understands that masculine must take the lead to bring in fairness, to bring in balance, to bring in justice. What is the heart space for divine mas for divine feminine? The arrow master. It came out in the reverse. So this is a challenge in her heart space when she feels for divine masculine. This is a challenge. The marrow the arrow master appears to let feminine know that if she continues in her present course, that she could be shooting herself in the foot, right? It says hitting the mark, intention, detachment. It's reversed. Her heart, maybe in her psyche, in her mind, in her logic, she's able to detach. But perhaps in her heart space, she's having a difficult time detaching her heart. And so she's being challenged. And she has to look at, her, at the motives. She has to look at the energy of her goals. She has to look at her fantasies. She has to look at her desires. She has to look at her attachments. This is the time where she's having a difficult time, you know, explaining to her heart that right now this connection is flawed. This connection is not balanced. This connection has not been resolved. You can't take a shortcut. Masculine must lead. It's time for him to bring in balance and fairness. But until then, you won't be able to hit the mark. So you must continue to detach. What is happening in the environment of Divine Feminine? Look, this is in the reverse, the hungry ghosts. Obsession, scarcity, consciousness, attachment. So we just saw here, Divine Feminine is having a difficult time telling her heart to detach from masculine. Okay, so when the hungry ghost comes out as a challenger, it's a sign where, you know, maybe she's obsessed with a certain outcome. Uh, maybe she's obsessed in a certain knowledge about what he's doing, what he's, you know, is he happy? Is he happy without me? You know, if she's in this energy of longing and yearning, and it's become a constant state of mind because she's really trying to heal her heart. So in her environment, she's letting go of illusions, letting go of lack, letting go of this energy where she's like, you know what? This is not perfect. This is not an abundant connection right now. This connection and my yearning and my longing for it makes me feel like I have very little to nothing, makes me feel like I'm living in lack. And that energy is contributing to me potentially losing my power. So I need to trust my spirit. I need to trust that this is a circular or spiral type of connection. There is no straight shot. So right now, instead of focusing on scarcity and attachment and obsessions and illusions, she's in this energy of saying, I need to focus on my joy. I need to focus on my abundance. I need to focus on my life. Life is going to pass you by if you don't start to understand that. You cannot spend more time in lack, in attachment, in obsession. You have a life to live. If your masculine is not bringing in resolution or communication or fairness or reciprocity, then you are allowing him to keep you in that energy of scarcity. If you step up into your power and understand your self-worth and your value, then you're gonna focus on the things that matter. You're gonna focus on this beautiful life that you have to live.
There are so many feminines out there that have been doing this for years, waiting for years, stuck in illusion, stuck in lack, waiting for reciprocity. Your life is passing you by, feminine. Your life is passing you by if you're living in scarcity and lack. Wake up, rise up, dance in the joy of this life that you have. Connect to the light, connect to yourself, connect to your abundance. Now, we will go ahead and we'll transition the rest of this reading into the King of Shadows 1111 YouTube channel because I don't want the feminine to be holding on to something that is making her feel bad or who is making her feel bad. But remember, these are your choices. If you choose to hold on, you are allowing yourself to stay hungry, to stay in this energy of attachment, to stay in illusion. Rise up in your power, connect to your intuition, connect to your love, to your self-worth, and celebrate your life. You have one life to live. Live it. Have a great day, everybody. And if you want to book your own personal coaching session, healing session, or reading, go to queenalight1111.com. And don't forget, special sale, soul circle, VIP access. If you enroll during this month, you will get a free Instagram story reading from me. Have a great day. Link is in the description box. Bye.